What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to All Things Nell. Okay, this is your girl, the Nelly marriage tag. From my girl, Diva D06. So let's get into this tag. First of all, I want to say thank you, girl, to my girl, Diva D06. I have been married for a while. So, so question number one. How long have you been married? My husband and I have been together 24 years, and we have been married 17 of those years. We met fresh out of high school when we were both 18 years old. Um... We met, he knew the day that we met <laughs> that we were going to get married. Yes, it is a certain thing as love at first sight. We met August the 24th, 1994. Um, and we've been together since that day. Like it's not a day. So moving on, how many kids do you have? We have currently th three children. We've had four pregnancies and three children. How did we meet? Well, his cousin was my best friend. And he was the manager of McDonald's, which is where I worked. So, like, we live in a small town. So, literally, all his family worked there. Like, well, not all his family, but he had a couple of cousins that worked there. Two of them, which were my best friends. One was named Michael, and one was named Angela. And he and Michael were, Michael were going to play basketball, and he introduced us. <laughs> um, they, they came through drive through and he introduced us, and that was that. I mean, he came back up there later on that night, and... Um, <laughs> that's how we met weird right so is your spouse short or taller shorter or taller than you he is taller than me by about four to six inches I'm five eight and he's about um if he's not six feet he's right at six feet tall somewhere between five eleven and 512 maybe so he's taller than me I know if I put on heels we eye to eye so how old were you when you first met we were 18 he is a little older than me um my birthday is May 24th his birthday is November 19th he has me in age only by a couple of months Who's the boss? <laughs> I'm the boss. Okay, so I'm like this. I am the boss, but I don't demasculate him. I let him think he's the boss, I guess you could say. Like, I let him run things, and if it's something that he's not right about, I try not to demasculate, demasculate him. I just say it in a way that lets him see it in a different light where then he can be like oh okay you see what i'm saying the i don't oh no the, a woman to get it a, a guy may not get it but a woman to get it so but i am the boss whether he knows it or not <laughs> when you and your spouse fight who apologizes first me But only if I'm wrong about something. I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong about something. I have, and y'all heard me say this a million times, I have bipolar 1 disorder, and my fuse can be short at times when I have cycled, and I don't know that I've cycled. But I, through help from my therapist, I have learned to rethink a situation, reevaluate a situation, and just be like, you know, like play the situation back over my head and realize, you know what? You was wrong. And I can be the bigger person and say, you know what? I was wrong. I apologize. I shouldn't have said what I said. I shouldn't have did what I did. It was me. And I do apologize. Now, it does bother me sometimes that my husband never apologizes. Like, he apologizes now, starting mid last year. He used to never apologize for anything like 
he did no wrong. Now he does apologize more like he tries. So that means a lot to me, the fact that he does try and he does do better. So I thank him for that. Because if you if relationship is not 50-50, it's just not going to work. You got to give something to get something. And it can't be 70% one area, you know, and 30 the next. It's got to be 50-50. It can't be 60-40. It has to be 50-50. And I appreciate him for that. Who's more on their phone? <laughs> me. He's catching up with me, though. My husband is not a tech savvy person. He does not care about technology, but he has started to be on his phone more. Most of the time, if I'm holding my phone, he's holding his baby. I'm on two phones. <laughs> one for the uh, plug and one for the hole. Is that how the sun goes? No. But he catching up with me on that aspect. Who drives the most when we are together? Oh my God, me. And I'm, to be honest, it has taken me some adjusting to get used to. This didn't start happening until like 2016, which is so weird for me. Normally, my husband does all the driving. So, 2016, I was in this car wreck, and for some reason, I had to start doing I don't know why, why the, me, I have to start doing all the driving. How did that work out? Because I'm the one with all the injuries and everything with my back all messed up. But I understand because. When that happened, it took me off work, which eventually resulted in me losing my job because I kept returning to work. We never knew my car wreck was that severe. And so, um, his job became more busy and he had to work more. So, he be tired. So, it's all good. He's working hard and providing for us. Hey, baby, I will drive you wherever you want to. Where you want to go, baby? I got you. I'll drive you to the moon and back, wherever you want to go. Who said, I love you first? Oh, my God. We've been together 24 years. Like, how am, how am I supposed to remember who said, I love you first? And we've been together so long. Like, I... If I remember correctly, he said I love you first because I met him on August the 24th and exactly like seven days later, that following Saturday, he had an engagement ring. Like that following Saturday. Before we even had sex or anything, he had an engagement ring. Like he just said, my personality, um, I was a tomboy the way I dressed. I didn't have on all that makeup. He hugged me and I didn't get makeup all over his clothes. I loved to hunt. I wanted to go fishing. He knew right then I was the one. I watched football. I liked wrestling. I was, I mean, I'm so tomboyish that, and I love that about him. He is the first person I ever dated that loved me for me. He did not want require that I dressed up and all of that kind of stuff. But when I do go into girl mode, let me tell you, let me tell you, it blows his mind. Like if, if I step out, like especially when we were younger, because when we were younger and we met, I was fresh out of high school, fresh out of track. So your girl had muscles in the right places like the thighs was snatched she wore those short shorts that was cute with a cute shirt she had the muscles popping she was snatched all the way around booty was poom ping pam then you have kids you know anyway but he still say i'm beautiful and snatching his boots see come through honey this is why we've been together so much because you, your girl man it's just oh so anyway yeah, so he appreciated that too because when I did come through dressed like a girl, oh my God, I had a drool, okay? Just drooling. He was just like, oh. <laughs> Anyway.
So I thank you guys for watching. Hugs. Hugs. Lots of love. Y'all see my heart behind me? That's the heart. Even though y'all can't see it, see the top of it. Lots of love from your girl Nell. Say bye. And her new friend. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.